The Artificial Intelligence Maritime Maneuver Indiana Collegiate Challenge event, created by the Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division, provided a unique opportunity for Indiana schools to compete in multiple disciplines of engineering. AIM has been an amazing journey for us as an institution. It's been an amazing journey for our counterparts in the defense sector. They've been amazed at how nimble a small institution is, that we react and create solutions in days, if not hours, rather than weeks or months. Uh, one of the, the discussions that uh, I had with the defense sector was, wow, a, a typical engineering project could take multiple years with a, a normal defense contractor. What you did in a matter of an academic year, nine months, we would typically not see for four to five years. The students, a desire and, and to create something and, and push that forward. They also, uh, the defense uh, partners, our colleagues at NSWC Crane, have just been amazed at how eager we are to create more opportunities, more solutions. And it really is a testament of, of how we do things here at Trine, which is, is find ways to create opportunities for our students and for our community and region. Competitors spent the entire school year developing boats to navigate a point system that included seven different challenges. Challenge number one, gate navigation. Successfully leave the dock untethered and navigate a two buoy gate. Challenge number two, slalom race. Weave through a green and red buoy slalom course. Green buoys were to be navigated on the right side and red buoys on the left side. Challenge number three, game of rings race. Collect rings attached to green and red buoys while weaving through a second buoy course. Challenge number four, pick a color. Navigate to a specific predetermined buoy color and make contact. Teams were awarded additional points if they choose to have the judges select the color of the buoy for this challenge. Oh, what color do you guys want to do? What we'll color? Go, we'll go, uh... You want to do yellow? We'll go... Yellow and then baby? We'll go orange. Orange. Orange buoy is what they'll hit when they get there. All right, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it. Challenge number five, sensor deployment. The boat must first navigate to the white sensor deployment buoy and then deploy a floating and untethered sensor within six feet of the buoy. As an additional task, the sensor must communicate wirelessly some type of information. You should be close enough to drop it. Oh yeah. Uh, I can't tell if I dropped it. I can't out. either. Just back it up. Oh, it's dropped, it's dropped. She's in, she's in. It is 12.6 uh, Celsius. Challenge number six, shore deployment. The vessel must first navigate to the black shore deployment buoy and unleash a student-designed guided object from the boat, which then was to navigate to shore and remain on shore under its own capability. Challenge number seven, search and rescue. Navigate to and remove an infant mannequin from the water. For full points, the search and rescue challenge needed to be deemed safe for human retrieval. Notre Dame won the course challenge portion of the competition and ended as the overall grand champion. Of the inaugural Artificial Intelligence Maritime Maneuver Indiana Collegiate Challenge event, Trine University took top honors in the Technical Design Report and Project Presentation categories. AIM ICC not only allowed students to work on a real-world challenge with potential implications for rescue and drug interdiction, it provided the opportunity to network with defense contractors. One of the, the, the unique things that has come out of this is students that traditionally through their academic programming, they'll work on a project with their peers. So a computer science major would work with another computer science major on a project. An electrical might work with another electrical. And, and those two might closely be connected or interact. There's some curricular overlap that a student might take a coding program uh, class. But something that's really exciting that's happened out of this is the, the, the true blurring of lines between disciplines, which is what a real engineering project or is in industry. When you, what I say, cross the stage and move your tassel and enter industry, you, you might be a computer scientist and a programmer, but you're also gonna have to work with the hardware engineers, which could be an electrical or a computer engineer. And those are going to have to work with the mechanical engineers who are actually applying whatever that mechanical system is or electromechanical system. The full systems engineering approach had to be taken for an LPV that was gonna be guided by AI doing electromechanical challenges on the water. We needed a blend of nearly five majors to make this a reality. And that truly 
is a real world challenge that Trine is hoping to move earlier into the academic experience so that they're more career ready when they cross that stage and enter industry. As a result of their work on the project, five Trine students have accepted full-time positions with NSWC Crane after graduation. One of the things that was repeatedly said to us at the competition was that we were not competing against the other schools, we were all competing against the course. It was a collaborative process of all of our teams working together, feeding ideas to each other, trying to understand how to best get through the course. And it was really great being there, working with all those other teams, just learning about the different processes they went through, understanding the same problems we had, feeling validated when all these other schools, sometimes larger schools, came to the same conclusions we did. It was a really great experience. Thank you.